What's up, everyone? I'm Tatum. Welcome back to another episode of Flowers, where today I'm giving flowers and showing love uh, to an album in this artist's discography that was slept on when it came out, and people have seen to come around to it and like it nowadays, five years later. So today, I'm going to be discussing Drake's Views. What was the original title Views from the Six? This album, again, when it first initially dropped, it, it received a lot of uh, lackluster criticisms. Um, to me, it was still a good album. I understand, you know, uh, I understood the gripes with the album. Um, I feel like Views was Drake's last great album. I think, besides from... Um, Nothing was the same where it was like the perfect balance of uh, singing and rapping. Like he really merged it well. Uh, I think Views was also a great combination and not so much like drawn out or uh, even though it's close to the same amount of songs as Scorpion, but like it still has some umph in it. There's still some energy in it. For me, I think it's the last Drake album that had like great energy, even though when he was making the album he was going through a lot of stuff the meek mill stuff was still going on he felt like the industry was trying to uh push him out or doing stuff behind the scenes and things of that nature so in a sense it is like kind of a dark album but even the uh first track so i'm gonna talk about some of my favorite songs on here there's 20 songs on here so i'm not gonna go through all 20 <laughs> i'm just not gonna do that but uh i wanted to Talk about some of my favorite highlights, some of the things I didn't like about the album, um, and just celebrate it on its fifth anniversary, which is kind of crazy. This album's five years old now, but let's get into it. Now, before we get started, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we just hit over 700. Yay. The next goal, uh, what well, my goal is, you know, to get over 1,000, and we're, we're doing pretty good. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's ready to discuss it in the comments as well. I was speaking about the energy about this album surrounding it and how it is a tad bit dark is because I think all Drake music after after nothing was the same really has been a very has has a dark aura over it but the first song itself is uh keep the family close and you know all of my used to be friends uh you know which friends i don't have anymore that, whatever that bar is <laughs> i haven't listened to it in a minute but just like you know we were once more closer than we were uh you feel like the insecurities of things and it's one of the few drake intros that's not like a bar well it's not a bar fest in a way. It's not like come off as this uh, braggadocious Drake. It comes off as a very vulnerable Drake, and it lets you know where he is. His mindset is during the uh, the creation of his album, being that he wanted us to hear that song first. I thought it was a great record. Uh, like I said again, it's a very different intro than what I come to expect from a Drake album. So it was cool just to get a different vibe, but really set the tone for... Uh, I guess the whole Canada atmosphere in a way. Nine, that's a cool record as well. Mama keeps telling me the rap's no good. It's better than her telling me the check's no good. I think that's a great song, man. It's just, uh, I feel like that's the artist stepping into the realization of who they are. Turn the six upside down, it's a nine now. Uh, I think just putting yourself in that big dog, uh, pave the way kind of seat. That's, a, that's pretty much what I got from that song. Is it one of my favorite Drake songs? No. But it's... it's. I'll tell you one thing. Drake is like a... He's a great beat picker. And I don't think he gets enough credit for the beats that he picked. But Drake picks a lot of great beats. A lot of great beats. And I think his hook ability can sometimes outweigh his uh, lyric ability. That's just me, though. You With Me. That's the one with the DMX sample, I believe. R.P. DMX. It's a line and they said, yeah, I know you heard my girl is sponsored by Audemars. Uh, that's why she always corrected me when my time is off. I was like, that boy got bars, man. <laughs> that boy got bars. My thing with views is that, what do I want to say? I feel like, okay, I'll say this. It's going to be it's gonna be hard for Drake to make that all-around classic album for me. Uh, and I do think he has classic albums on me, just like that universal acclaim, Kendrick kind of uh, praise for album. I think, like, let's say this album, right? He'll have Feel No Way on here. I just got to say, that's probably my favorite song right here. Kanye and Drake, 
just hug it out already i miss uh drake on kanye beats like i think they need to do an album that's just me like kanye producing though not rapping live off the hype i pull up at lexus like it's so seven is that one i just hit a look i gotta hit the next one and he's like the one you know subliminals at meek and things of that nature uh western road redemption couple songs i could skip with you i think i think that's a dope uh I think that's a dope record. I love Party Next Door. Is one of uh, Party Next Door is an amazing songwriter. Faithful, which I do love the the Pimp C uh, verse at the beginning, even though it has nothing to do with the song. I think the song itself is also a great record. Just to have, I want to turn you out like pitch black. Want to see you do work while I sit back. Cause you talk like you got what I need. You act like you got the juice and the squeeze. Like <laughs> that's a that song is like drake's lane like that's his lane like that's those songs are always gonna work for him no matter what he does still here still here just reminds me of a it just reminds me of hype part two like i don't think it was needed on here you have hype on here you could have just like that song those songs are pretty much the same exact vibe pretty much controller which i went back to that song is fucking amazing just re-listening to it is like that song is fucking amazing i didn't smash hit like everything about that song is a smash hit and then he did gives us another smash hit right behind it with one dance uh i think this album has his biggest hit records on here well not god's plan that's obviously his biggest but a few of his biggest records probably top five uh and it's funny that he don't even get to those records until this the latter half of the album like control comes in at 11 one dance is 12 grammys oh my gosh drake's part is cool but future blocked the fuck out we were still in the run of future dirty sprite 2 so he was in the like dirty sprite 2 uh what time to be alive like he was still on that row and he just made that 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 beat switch and then he just killed that shit with a chain like a bow tie keep the four five for the pole guys <laughs> like he was just going off on that motherfucker. child's play another great record uh even though he has a line about cheesecake and then after that the album is kind of done for me me personally like i'm not really listening to too good i'm not listening to pop style because i think the version that he has on here without uh jay-z and kanye is just not good i think that second verse is trash uh too good it just sounds like a take care part two i don't really need that summer's over interlude it's cool i know that the theme of the album was uh it was supposed to be like the season so you were supposed to feel like the seasons that's why something was over at that point and i guess it's getting cold again but eh, i guess that's a cool theme lupe did that on uh his album already though if you haven't checked that one out find desire no i know people love find desire it's not my thing views no and this is i'm probably the only person that thinks this but drake just straight rapping songs are hit and miss for me like i like some of them i dislike more songs than i like when he's just barring out but i know i'm in the minority with that but it just don't do nothing for me like he just goes on for a long time it's like i like drake for his songs like his actual song structure having the bars but also having a great hook having a great beat uh, i'm not really i'm i'm not the drake fan it's like i don't know <laughs> going all out for his bars or whatever just give me a great record and then hotline bling is a bonus track which is we know what hotline bling is but um and it's funny before i wrap this up a lot of the songs drake here it'll be a girl record and he be throwing shots at the guys <laughs> like what do you say a lot of niggas cut the check so they can take this flow <laughs> it's like this is right in the middle and then he says that line and goes right back to but girl you did me wrong like, <laughs> like sometimes like hey what what am i listening to uh let me get into my best songs though feels no ways and i remember quick sidebar i remember uh at camp vlog not last year when i went and you know it's my first time seeing drake and when he played this song because tyler he's he said that tyler cre uh tyler requested he play this song and i was like wow that's my favorite song off here too off that album i just think uh, i feel no way is dope but he put the mic out to the audience to hear it, i mean to get the call and response and it was like crickets and his face was just like well that's weird and then it dawned on me that oh shit drake drake is old and not in a bad way it's just that it's a it's a whole nother generation or two under drake that's like i don't really want to hear drake i want to hear tyler creator i want to hear the frank oceans i want to hear these people over here the internet and it fucking blew my mind 
fucking blew my mind. I just had a quick side story because that was just, it just blew my fucking mind. Uh, so yeah, feel no ways, child's play, and keep the family close. Worst song, pop style. I just don't like that version without them. Whatever reason he took uh, the throne off. Like they say, Pablo, why are all the windows tinted on your Tahoe? Fuck if I know. Like, come on, man. Best line, he says, how you supposed to figure out what I'm going through? You can't even figure out what's going on with you. You judge me for you met me. Yeah, figures. I make all players anthems for the real niggas. With my dad out in Tennessee is where I belong. Out here in L.A., I don't know what's going on. I thought that was a dope line. Especially the, uh, how you supposed to figure out what I'm going through? You can't even figure out what's going on with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's wrap this shit up, though. In closing, I think Views, it's Drake's last great album, if that. I don't think it's a classic album. I think it's too many songs for one. I think, uh, but it's his last great album. Hit records galore in there. A couple B-sides that was still dope. Covers dope. <laughs> and it was just a, it was a great moment in time for like that Drake run. It was like really great. Like he sold over 800,000 the first week. Went on to sell over 6 million copies. Uh it was just a great moment it was like that album that i've been here but let me like solidify myself i wouldn't say like when jay made the blueprint i think i don't think he made one of those yet i think that might be his next hopefully but it's one of those albums that cements you in the sand it's like he was already gonna be great but every artist needs one of those doing one of those albums that cement them in the sand and i think views was that album for drake so i just wanted to show the little love I told you I was going to be honest about it. So if any Drake fans listening and think I was too harsh, it's fine. We can discuss it in the comments. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Flowers for Drake's views. The album, I guess. That just sounds weird when I say flowers for Drake views. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tatum. Peace. Peace.